everybody, it's Chelsea and in two days I am going to Spain. Today I wanted to make a what I bring in my carry-on to make long flights feel a little bit shorter. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put out vlogs from Madrid and Barcelona and I am super excited to go. If you are new to my channel, my name is Chelsea. I travel the country in a 21-foot camper trailer with my dog Banks who is right over there. There. Whoever wants to travel with me along the way, I post weekly nomadic videos and tips and tricks for anyone who is interested in living this lifestyle. So subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so you get the notifications when I upload. One more announcement, I just want to say thank you so much to the people who have become a patron of mine. You guys have been really kind to me on Patreon. I just want to say thank you a million times over because traveling the country is something that I absolutely love to do. It has changed my mentality and it's helped me grow as a person and I love bringing you guys along with me on the way and your support makes that possible. So just thank you so much and without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So as a couple of you guys know, I am not the best flyer. I have a lot of anxiety about flying and so anything that I can do to make the trip a little bit more comfortable for me is extremely important. If you relate to this, I hope some of these tips can help you. My flight to Spain should be about seven or eight hours and I am really nervous for it, but these are the things that I'm bringing along the way. So I've flown a lot in my lifetime and I noticed that the best bag for me to carry on a plane is a backpack. So this is the one that I am bringing with me on the plane to Barcelona. I got this in San Diego in Old Town and it's just a cheap faux leather bag but it is in a backpack style and also it has this cool thing where if you don't want the two straps you can just zip it down the middle turn it into one strap and you're good to go and I have written a list of all the things that I need to be in this backpack so let's just go over them first things first obviously you are going to want your phone charger iPad charger computer charger whatever it is that you are going to use the most on that plane make sure you have a charger for it I have this Mophie portable charger box. It has two compartments here so I can charge multiple things at the same time. And this box is heavy. I need it that way because this thing can charge your phone six times over, which is really important on long flights. So make sure you get a portable charger, whether it's one of these or a smaller one. Some type of battery bank is going to be crucial on a long flight. Make sure you pack all your cords, whatever you're gonna be attaching to that box. Make sure you have those in your backpack as well. You're gonna want some form of entertainment on the plane. So for me, I just go on the Netflix app on my phone. You can do this on an iPad as well, but I don't have one of those. I download a couple movies and shows on my phone so that I have those to watch. And then also on Audible, I'm a huge fan of audiobooks, so I've got a couple pre-downloaded pre books on here that I can listen to. In order to do that, you are going to need a set of headphones. These are an earbud type of earphone and instead of the ones over the ears. And these are the ones by Bose. The reason, um, my, my mom gifted these to me for Christmas about two years ago and I have been using them nonstop ever since. The reason why I like them so much is because it comes with this little thing attached to it which is a battery to turn on the noise canceling feature that they have. I swear you don't realize how much background noise comes in through headphones until you get a pair of these babies. They block out all the hum from driving, which I do a lot, and they're gonna block out the hum from being on an airplane as well. Sometimes, even if I'm not even listening to something, I will put these in and turn on the ear canceling, noise canceling feature, just so that I can take a good nap. So invest in a good pair of headphones. For the record, I just wanna go ahead and say this video is not sponsored by any of the products that I mention. They are just something that I truly believe in and use avidly, so get that out of the way. So if you are like me and you wear contacts, you might want to bring your glasses with you. I have these Ray-Ban glasses. They are just like normal, whatever. Sometimes on planes, my eyes can get really dry and I'll wanna switch to 
glasses to be comfortable and give my eyes a break. So make sure you bring your glasses with you if you are a person that needs them. Because I make a lot of videos and I plan on vlogging this whole trip, I am bringing my computer. This is my MacBook Pro. I'm going to be bringing that on the plane as well just to do some work. And sometimes they do have Wi-Fi on planes now, especially on longer flights. So maybe I can hop on there, do some editing, answer some emails, whatever it may be. Bring, bring your computer, bring a charger, whatever. I'm also going to be bringing my camera, which I am filming on right now. I... Some people have like the really nice cameras and then they have their vlog cameras. I just have one camera um, and it's my vlog camera and Sony A5000. I have my camera equipment all linked in the description below in case you're interested in it. I'm gonna go ahead and vouch for this camera. This is a sturdy, good beginner camera for you if you are trying to start a YouTube channel or whatever it is you want to do. This is a good camera. Check it out. Also make sure that you have your wallet and passport. I am not going to show mine. However, I am bringing my wallet and my passport. Don't forget those. You are gonna need an ID to get into other countries and just to fly nationally as well. Whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna need your wallet. So all of my electronics I put in here in my backpack. So this is gonna be my headphones, my phone charger, my battery bank, and I also put um, any medicines in here. So because this is such a long flight, I am gonna go ahead and bring some Tylenol and some Sudafed for my allergies. I am also going to bring my vitamins and I know some of you guys aren't gonna like this, but I am prescribed Xanax because I have really bad anxiety on planes and this just helps me stay sane and not cause a scene with a panic attack on a plane. Sometimes you don't want to listen to a audiobook or your phone dies or whatever it is. Something might happen where you can't listen to audiobooks. So it is always important to just bring a book on the plane as well. These are two that my friend recently gave me. I think everyone read these books in middle school. However, I have not touched them in a long time. So I'm just gonna pick them back up on the plane and go for that. I do read a lot, so if you guys are interested in me making a top five books you should read in your lifetime deal or something like that, please comment below and let me know because I would gladly make one of those. I actually thought about starting a book club because I am such an avid reader. If you guys have any suggestions to me as to what your favorite books are, please comment those below too. In your handy dandy backpack, make sure you bring water and snacks with you on the plane. I know they do offer those on planes, however, they might not have exactly what you want or if you have dietary restrictions, you might want to bring your own. Just something to keep you fueled and energized for when you get off the plane. You've already eaten, you're good to go. Something else that I'm going to be bringing is an eye mask. I don't have it on me right at this moment, but I think they're really important for when you're trying to grab a nap. It's just those silk little things you put over your eyes. It darkens everything so that you can sleep well. So if you're interested in taking a nap and you need darkness to sleep like I do, bring a little eye mask. Another thing that I definitely think that you should pack in your carry-on is a pair of fuzzy socks. These are just a pair of wool socks. Planes can be really cold. It's like when you first get on, they're really hot, but then as you go, it gets really cold. The weather changes, the weather changes on planes all the time. So just make sure that you can stay comfortable. Bring a pair of socks in your backpack. I am bringing this hoodie on the plane with me. Um, they do offer blankets, but to be honest with you, I don't really trust airplane blankets like that. I don't know if they're really clean or not. Not really sure. I could be totally wrong and paranoid, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bring a hoodie as well. This one is a super oversized, super warm hoodie from Free People. You guys, if you have ever joined in on a live stream of mine, you know me for this hoodie because you always say that it makes me look like that one chick from Star Wars. If you don't have headphones that cancel out noise for you, go ahead and pack some earplugs. You might want those. You have no idea if there's gonna be a upset child or a very loud snoring person or whatever it might be, but you might want a nap and you might just want to like block out the other humans in the world. So pack a pair of earplugs. For me, I cannot stand having dry lips or being uncomfortable on the plane at all. So I'm going to pack this Vaseline lip therapy. It's just like a little chapstick for you. And 
help keep you moisturized on the plane. I'm also going to bring a tiny little thing of hand lotion because I don't know what it is about air in airplanes that just dries you out, but like I need my moisture. You know what I mean? So pack, pack that up. So one thing that I'm not super proud of that I need to bring, but I'm also kind of proud of, I don't know. If you guys know, I was a smoker for a really long time and I have recently been trying to quit. So I have these nicotine patches. It is going to be a long flight. So if you are a smoker, um, you might just want to get these anyway, because you are not allowed to smoke on planes and it'll definitely help cut down those cravings along the way. I know I'm going to get some hate for that, but I mean, I think it's just like a kind of reasonable thing to anticipate if you have that problem. Last but not least, I am going to bring this little notebook thing I have. I love this notebook. It's so cool. They, this company takes old library books and textbooks and then leaves some of the pages in from the original book like this. And then the rest of it, they just fill with blank sheets of paper. It's just a regular notebook and a pen. I am one of those people that as soon as I get an idea in my head, I have to write it down. Or if I think, oh, this is something that I should do, or I forgot to do this or pick up this or whatever, I write it down and make myself to-do lists. I'm a huge list advocate. So <laughs> I'm gonna be packing that as well. And the last thing I'll be bringing for myself is probably some face wipes. I hate the thought of sitting in a metal tube with a hundred other people for eight hours straight. I don't like when people cough. I know I might just be a piece of crap, but I'm like really weird about germs, like airborne germs. So halfway through the flight and at the end of the flight before I get off the plane, I just want to wipe my face off and get all that gunk from the plane off of my face. I can't stand that. So that's something you might want to consider as well. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm not crazy. And most importantly, my biggest piece of advice is to dress comfortably. Some people used to get really dressed up on planes. That used to be the thing. Like if you were going to the airport, you were somebody and now it's like everybody flies and no one really cares that much. I don't feel. So wear something comfy. I'm probably going to wear what I usually wear, which is an oversized t-shirt and some leggings, and then I'll bring my hoodie and my socks. I'm, I don't mind bumming. I, I'm just saying, I don't mind being a bum on the plane. So I think the most important thing as well as being comfy is just staying entertained. Make sure you have your movies downloaded on your Netflix app. Make sure you have some videos downloaded and saved offline on your YouTube app. I have books downloaded on my Audible app. I have music on my phone that's downloaded. I made myself some playlists. It's just super important to me that I can keep my brain distracted when I'm feeling anxious about anything. And so I want everything that I possibly can already on my phone. By the way, check out this cool sticker, you guys. I got this in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am obsessed with it. It's like this alligator girl just like cheering. This is me. <laughs> so anyway, that concludes my video of what to pack on a carry-on. I hope this was kind of helpful for you and you got some ideas or tips as to how to stay entertained and comfy and make a long flight seem shorter. Once again, please subscribe to my channel because I am super stoked to take you guys to Spain with me. Madrid and Barcelona, this is going to be a trip and it's my first international travel on this channel. So please look forward to it and I will see you in Spain.